Okay, yeah. I think, I think everything works well. And sound and all that stuff. So, I can start. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so, hello, hello everyone. It's been a long time since my last stream. I think it was like six or five months, something, something around that time. And uh, yeah, I, I kind of took a break uh, on streams, on streaming stuff for a variety of reasons that I don't really want to dwell uh, right now. But you know, you know what they say, it's, it's New Year. And ultimately, despite a long break, I still want to you know, play video games. I still want to talk about the level design and whatnot. So uh, I think it's it's only right to start new streams in the new year, at the beginning of a new year. Hmm. Kind of feels like a perfect timing, perfect date. And uh, yeah, hopefully it won't end abruptly like last time. We'll see. Hello, hello, zombie. Long time no see. <laughs> Well, that's some, some cute emotes you got this time. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I can see that. I can see that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, today I'm playing an interesting game. It's a, it's a J-horror walking sim, sort of, uh, which is unfortunately has no English localization, which is, well, a little bit awkward, but uh, I hope this game is not that heavy on story, on text, so it will be alright. I wanted to play this game like last year, basically the stream that never happened, like the next stream in the last year that never happened, I basically wanted to dedicate to this game, and you know, it never happened, so uh, I kind of, I feel like it's just right to, to start the new year with this one. To finish things that I wanted to finish, sort of. And uh, yeah, let's, since I won't be able to read anything in this game, let's uh, check the Steam page very quickly. So uh, I'm just gonna read the Steam page, basically the description part. This game is a first person Japanese horror game, and it's set in the late summer of 2000s in rural Japan. So quite, quite interesting location to visit, you know? In terms of setting, I think. In terms of story, uh, the main character, Misaki, got a job and started living alone. However, her work didn't go well, so she quit her job and returned to her parents' house. That day, Misaki was soaking in her heartbreak at the park, where she used to play when she was in elementary school, because she hadn't made any progress in cleaning up after moving. And then Misaki notices that the door to the pass leading to the forest She's normally closed. It's open. I wonder what's going on beyond that, Misaki thinks. She walks off into the forest as if something is calling her. Misaki knows that she is not supposed to enter this place, but she does. You will be able to experience the fear and the atmosphere that is triggered by this. So, quite a uh, quite intriguing synopsis, you can say. <laughs> Damn, wh why are we getting all those emotes? That's a cute. I guess it's a duck or is it goose? I think it's a goose, right? <clears throat> so in terms of game systems, it's a, it's just a walking simulator. Basically, it's uh, a proc. It takes to finish this game like in approximately thirty minutes, which is perfect for my streams, as you probably know, because I'm extremely slow. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's. I guess let's start. Let's check it out. Kind of interesting, I guess. Let's let's start with menu. How uh, you can see a very sort of unconventional approach to UI, like right from the start. We have, um, I think those two options mean begin like new game and exit the game. But then another option that refers to like settings. In this case, I guess it's just like graphics. It's it's only graphics. There is like no control rebinding, sound setting, or anything like this. And uh, whatever settings we have is just in the opposite corner. <laughs> so that's uh, that's kind of 
<coughs> unorthodox. But you know what? What can you expect? It's a, it's a Japanese indie game, and it's quite it's um, relatively obscure, you can say, because on Steam it has like twenty six reviews, but eighty percent of them are positive. So I'm uh, I'm relatively hopeful about this one, and you know I also I also love Walking Sims. Walking Sims is my is my jam, basically. Yep. So let's let's finally start, and we have a bunch of text that I won't be able to read. I assume it basically says what I just read on the Steam page. <clears throat> That's my hope. <clears throat> okay, um, I'll try to read something that I can read. Because I just like I know I know a few kanjis, but uh, yeah, I don't know what that means. There is a certain potential problem with this, of course, that I can the game might ask me to do something you know not necessarily like intuitive and obvious. So I would I might get like locked, <laughs> just lost or something. Ah, okay, we got. You're a bot in the chat. Let me let me handle this. I was prepared for this one. Okay, yeah. Nicely, nicely done. Me. Um. Okay. So we started. Uh, we moved in our parents' house, right? If I remember correctly. So this is our room. This is our things. That we didn't unpack yet. I started the game like before the stream just to check that everything works and there are like a few things that struck me immediately like the first one is in terms of movement how how slow I am even so there is a sprint and the step sounds <laughs> if you just if you just pay attention like I I don't know what kind of shoes she's wearing this is some this is some interesting choice. Yeah, I don't know. I don't it's it's kinda it's a little bit a little bit unsettling for me. Light keeps slithering in and out too. Oh yeah, I, I didn't even notice it. Does it? Oh it's kinda subtle. Well well I guess not really. Oh, wait a second. Is it flickering or is it just like... Depends on distance, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It's not flickering anymore. But if I... Yeah, I feel like it's just, it's just a, maybe a bug or something. But yeah, yeah, we we kind of we are starting on a good sort of note. I think it's it's already uh, throwing me off guard, you know, in many ways. Um, another thing that I noticed is the interaction hint, the, this icon, which basically looks like you know one of those icons that you see in like map uh, apps, like Google Map. Or like I don't know, does Google Map has one of those icons? But you know, you know what I'm talking about. So that's kind of kind of an interesting choice to uh so we, we can open windows i guess uh okay something 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 okay we can't open this window i guess it was just she would comment she just commented about what she has to do or something <clears throat> Kind of enjoying how this room is very cramped, right? It's like it feels claustrophobic, especially with all that, with all these boxes around, kind of basically taking half of the room. It feels very authentic representation, of, you know, of Japanese uh, apartments. Uh, even so, it's like it's a house, so not like your uh, sort of modern Japanese room apartment thingy, but. You know, I feel I feel it's very authentic. Mm. 
also the ceiling kind of feels a bit low to adding to that uh, feeling of uh, claustrophobia. I guess I can open it for some reason. I think it's it, she says something about her mother room. Maybe this is like the father room. Uh, maybe I'll try to do one of those kind of like uh, interpretations that is uh, uh, Miyazaki. You know, Hidetaka Miyazaki is is famous for you know like a uh, one of the anecdotes that. Uh, uh, <clears throat> It's kind of known about him, about him how he was inspired by those like English fantasy books, I believe, uh, that he couldn't read like completely. He didn't know English very well, and so he was like, uh, he could pick up like a separate uh, words, separate sentences, and like, figure out and try to like sort of speculate about the whole story. Maybe we can do something of similar sort, you know, uh, in this game. Maybe it will be fun too. <clears throat> oh, look at this! How dark this one. The darkest corner. This is what I was coming for, like uh, an areas, areas that are just completely pitch dark and you you almost, you can't see anything. You know this this beautiful indie darkness that you can see you can encounter only in indie games these days. Also, I'll, I'll be honest, it's it feels a little bit. It's like the graphics glitch or something. Like you can see that the. Uh, what is those light fixture? It's it's on, like this one. Even so, it doesn't radiate any light. It doesn't lead anything. It's it looks exactly the same like the other ones. So it's a uh, a little bit of a inconsistency here, but you know. Hmm. Uh, I think I want to go out. Something it's, it says something about those lines. I think, right? Um, um <laughs> I don't know what this one says. This one is something about opening something, I think. I remember in the description in the story description the uh, it was mentioned that some sort of forest was mentioned, so I guess this is my objective. Oh, well, maybe this is my goal. I don't know. This red light looks like uh, looks very enticing. <clears throat> also, kind of weird too. I don't know something. Something. Something is weird about this red light. It's it feels kind of out of place compared to the like overall scenery. Like it's just maybe it's too strong. For like a lamp, mm. which makes me think maybe this is actually my goal, and I'm not overthinking it. <sighs> I was kind of skeptical about the walking speed in this in this one when I started the game to check it out, uh, but. For now, it actually feels all right. I don't feel annoyed, surprisingly. Can I read this? Why am I even asking if I can read this? I, I can't read anything in this game. That's that's a different light fixture. The the model. Hmm. Oh, the step sounds. One of my hopes that this game is not really heavy on jump scares. I'll say that. I'm kind of hoping on a more just um, overall. Like I hope that this game probably that this game leans toward creating more like just overall uh, tense sort of atmosphere. Because I'm not ready for those jump scares. Very suspiciously looking keys that I can't pick up. Um, okay, can I open this door? Um, 
Yeah, I don't know what that means. Mm, I don't know what that means either. Okay. And it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny because me playing this game in the Japanese language and not knowing Japanese feels like it is kind of uncomfortable, right? It's I don't know what the protagonist says, right? I might miss something. Uh, but at the same time, it feels like a more adequate way to experience a game like this. You know, a game that puts you in a, in a place that is unfamiliar to you, right? And so, like, what, language is a pretty important part, right, of the, of the culture. Uh, it's maybe what you can say it's a fundamental part of a, of a culture, of any culture. And the fact that I navigate this Japanese like a traditional Japanese house and read everything in Japanese feels like like a correct way to play, you know, in a way. I feel like I'm more immersed because of this. If I had like English uh, localizations otherwise. Oh. All right, we have a toilet. It feels so weird whenever I like encounter a toilet in the video game, I immediately think about like Robert Young and what, what he would think about it is toilet. <laughs> like would, would Robert Young approve this toilet? It's like my immediate thought. That's just, that's uh, yeah. Oh, look at the sink. Is it how, how tiny, <laughs> how small is this little thing? Like it's a, it's a baby sink. I don't even how how do you use it? Can I crouch? No, I can't crouch in this game. <laughs> it's man. I I mean this game is made by a Japanese person, so I assume it's like some houses. Well, actually, it's a toilet, right? Okay, I am I am I'm being dumb. It's a toilet room, so all right. I, I guess it, it's actually makes sense that the, the sink is. Very small in the toilet. Uh, okay, I don't know what, what. What? Okay, I know this kanji. It means it means stream. So I can I can flush the toilet. Yeah. Okay, I interpreted this correctly. Not the best flushing effect, I would say this. Not the best. Also, the toilet paper texture is kind of misaligned. <clears throat> I would say it's it's a solid toilet room, you know? It's um, like maybe 6 out of 10, at least for me. I kind of appreciate how there's like a little window that you can look at while you're sitting, I guess. Appreciate like a little piece of scenery. Um, hmm. Okay, we explore the toilet. Also, kind of appreciate the lighting, especially in this particular, uh, you can call it vista, I guess. How these buildings, they're in just, com they're in, just com in uh, complete shadow, right? You just basically, you don't see buildings, you see the silhouettes of, the, of those buildings. <clears throat> well, except I guess the one on the on the far side, you can see like a little like a roof, I guess, a little part of the roof. <clears throat> oh, what are those called? The, the these rooms with uh with the sliding doors. Yeah, I don't remember. <clears throat> uh Okay, what what was this? Is this one of those like uh, religious, what do you call them? Altars, I guess, is the word that you can use maybe. And it's done like mostly through texture, it looks like.
Okay, let's interact with it. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means either. And I just... Okay, <laughs> I got something. I'm not even sure what that object represents. Um, Alright, let's, let's try to figure it out. Plunger for toilet? <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, that's kind of like one of the first thoughts that I had too. I kind of doubt it <laughs> since we received it from um, that altar thingy. Uh, I feel like it would be weird to receive a toilet plunger <laughs> in that kind of place. Um, can I go this way? Yeah, one of the consequences of this uh, minimalistic, kind of typical, right, for walking sims, a type of uh, UI approach to UI design, is that I just kind of have to guess a lot of the times which part of the environment is interactable or not. Which sometimes can be kind of fun if there are like a lot of like mini interactions, but it also can add to a bit of a, I guess, of a confusion and frustration sometimes, since this looks like something to me that I can open, right, and get out. But no, that's that's not really the case. These doors, on the other hand, yeah, those are interactable. Yeah, that's uh, that's something you just have to deal with. Mm, yeah, okay, I didn't really explore this room, I think, the kitchen. Right, I can interact with. Uh... Is it a teapot? No, no, it doesn't look like it. Oh, what? Mm... Let's let's do it. I don't know what it asks me to do. Mm, okay, it needs something. I guess I need to put something inside. Oh, wait a second, no, I just, I just got, is it like a, is it a rice? Is it one of those, uh, how do you call them, things where you cook the rice? <laughs> Scooped. <laughs> okay, well, at least we are progressing, so that's nice. I am, I'm happy with that. It's kind of funny how it looks. <laughs> Maybe it's ice cream? Ah, dao? Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, I am, I'm not really following so far. What are we doing? It's probably rice because it looks like one of those uh, rice cooking devices, you know? There's like, you can even kind of see like, like the, the button panel, you know? Stamped <laughs> on top. Okay, so we need to cook rice, maybe. Or maybe we need to eat. And uh, we can't go out before eating. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm... Okay, I can't go out, I, I think. Mm. <laughs> That's kind of funny how... Uh... Okay, let, let me close it. My character has no shadow, since, well, I, my character doesn't have any model, I guess. And it's just, you can see only the shadow of that uh, rice uh, gathering device. <laughs> kind of adds to the creepy atmosphere, right? Maybe you can even think that it is intentional. Uh, you were thinking about that too? All right, okay, we're... Uh... Is it, can I interact with this? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, I can interact with it again. Mm, I don't know what that means. Okay, I did something. Uh, if 
today something something today i don't know uh outside outside pass something something uh okay i, I feel like i s it looks like i still can't go out i'll try maybe i can <clears throat> Can I? Oh, okay, I can go out. Oh, maybe, actually, can I? Or maybe I'm just can exp I can explore some, like a courtyard or something. Man, this fence uh, is so short. It's like, it doesn't, it doesn't really provide any privacy. I remember in Oblivion when you were riding a horse, you could see the horse's shadow, but the shadow clearly had no rider. Mmm. Yeah, it's it's kind of interesting that, in 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 case so like of this game, well, I guess I guess it's just a, there's probably no no it's not like a deliberate <laughs> approach to to uh, like. Giving shadows only to the objects that you hold to kind of add to the horror part <clears throat> But it kind of adds to it in a way, right? Uh, at least it adds to some people. I'm sure some people definitely would freak out uh, When they notice that uh, their character has no shadow so it's kind of It's something that you have to keep in mind, right? That's like a such a minor things they can have uh, like a relatively like meaningful impact on the player's experience and so you have to be like aware of about even li little details like that <clears throat> what are those things is it like where you put your clothes on for them to dry out i assume so yeah quite barren uh, courtyard we have Hmm, this forest in the background, it, it kind of, it creates this weird feeling of how this is just, like, those trees, they're at the end of the map, you know? There's, like, nothing behind them. It creates, like, this very, like, video game sort of feeling, in a way. So, like, it's, it's sort of, like, you know, this old school old like old video game sort of approach to creating uh borders in the uh, for your game space you just you look at, put a wall let's say a forest or something yeah it's it's like it's it's weird it's kind of it, it adds to the little bit of a mm, claustrophobia too maybe ah interesting <clears throat> Because I, I kind of feel like there is, it is just the border, right? There is like, there is nothing behind those, uh, those trees really. And they just create this like feeling of a wall, right? <clears> okay, <throat> uh, what do we have here? We have like some of those, uh, oh, a bunch of tires. And I, I can't go this way. There's like an invisible wall. Why would you, why would you do this? Like, in a game like this, I think you should be very careful how you define your, you know, edges of a, of a game space. Since, like, let's say you make a game about exploration, right? And this is a game about exploration, basically. And it's also puts emphasis on immersion, or whatever. <clears throat> you. In a game like this, you probably should avoid like, like, straight invisible walls that prevent you from entering like a, an area just just because you can't, just because uh, a designer decided that you can't go this way. Because I mean, it's kind of for me, it's it's a bit it's enticing to see like what's in the end, right? There is something. It's dark, but I can see like a silhouette of some item. Yeah, a little bit disappointing.
Oh, what's this? Oh, it's like a public toilet? Can I enter it? Nope. Or maybe it's some like some sort of storage room or something. Man, I just I just love again how like how dark this space. Like I almost I see nothing in this shadow at all. Like I have no idea if I am stumbling upon something. Okay, how can I go outside? I guess it's like my next objective. I see something highlighted. Is it the gate? Wait, no, it's just... Uh, da, 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 da. I, some, I, I, can't do, I can't go this way, I think, right? Uh, oh, there was, there was a sound of like a car passing. I just, I, I, I think I heard it. Hmm. So it's not as desolate as I thought. Uh, I have to look somewhere. A mountain. Okay, I can go out, and I guess I need to like search for a mountain. But first, I kind of want to get to that building. I feel like this red light is just you know it's a it's a, a classy classy uh, you know way to uh, get player attention maybe a little bit on the nose even in this case god these these shadows it's just ah, good stuff um blah, 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 blah. i can't go this way okay that's just, ah, this is so so disappointing god damn it Not really a big fan of. In this case, it wasn't just an invisible wall, right? It was basically a character. Well, there is an invisible wall, of course, but there is also this kind of like additional way to explain it by character motivation. Like the the character doesn't want to go this way because they like they can't or they need something to do first. Which for me is just. I don't think it ever works for me personally. It's just it kind of breaks a little bit suspension of disbelief maybe even uh, in my case since I just I feel like yeah okay I'm I'm not really in control right I'm, I'm just I'm playing a game and I navigate uh, a space that is like de deliberately constructed by some person and that person wants me to go in particular areas in particular order and I just, I get, I feel very self-aware, you know, when moments like this happen. Yeah, well. Okay, let's go this way. Any I wanted to go to check out this uh, red light uh, building, anyway. It's steel. I can't go this way either, are you? How else do you end the road? Uh, well, in case like this, I'll be honest, I, even the most like in the frowned upon way, you know, is just putting obstacles like crates or whatever else uh, to like physically block like uh, the pass. I would, I would prefer this to whatever this game is doing. I'd say like that would be a better way even so again yeah it's uh depending how you do it if you're being lazy about it or comparing uh, com uh, depending on the setup it can be it looks very contrived and artificial too but it, in case of like a physically like blocking crates or something i can at least like i can look at the at obstacle yeah i can just not like oh okay i can't go this way right it's it's not an area for me to explore so i don't even have this idea the sort of i don't even have the spark of curiosity like oh yeah i want to check this place well like in this case right <clears throat> because i just i see a bunch of boxes standing in my way okay oh all right i can't go this way so this 
potential sort of experience of disappointment is removed in case of uh, physical like obstacle. But I guess you can just another way to think about it is just in terms of uh, how this what do you call it a suburb or like a country the village or whatever it is just think about just building the space itself in a way that you know this is just a dead end like this road it's just it doesn't lead anywhere like on its own and it's you know the structure is, is this of oh, that road is just there is no path forward <clears throat> even so in this case i think actually this is exactly what is happening like this road doesn't lead anywhere it just like stops i think I, I can't see shadows just oh man those shadows they're just like they're just a void you know um maybe there's like a path on the left <clears throat> but the thing is if the dead was a dead end and like let's say like yeah this road just ends and there's like a wall basically in in the end of that uh pass i would be like completely fine with it that would be like even so you, you can say like oh you you wasted some time you walked to that area and there was nothing but for me it, it wouldn't be a problem i would I would probably just do that I would, I would let player to go this way and then linger in that space and find out that yeah there is nothing really <clears throat> but then I, I can i can kind of see a pattern right in this particular game that there are like so many spaces that they look like you, you can explore them right there are like like no physical obstacles but you just you can't do this i can't go into this direction it's it's blocked i can't explore this uh, area it's blocked by invisible wall and uh, i can kind of see that the, the author of this game they just for them it's oh wait a sec I, I think i can see like the shadow changes from that distance or something or maybe not maybe i'm just seeing things there's like a white sign or something yeah, there's like, oh, oh my god, this game is, god, this, this is so trippy. Yeah, there's like, there's like white, uh, yeah, I have no idea what it is. Looks like some kind of sign to me. <clears throat> oh my god, I can't go this way too. Oh, okay. Got it. You know, I usually like it's it's very it's pretty common to like to dislike, right, and consider invisible walls as a kind of bad level design. I don't really have this strong opinion on them. I think in certain cases it's completely fine to use invisible wall. Depending on what kind of setting it is. What kind of game you're making and let, let's say what kind of space you create uh but in game like this i think it's just unforgivable honestly it's just you 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 can't put an invisible wall without any sort of explanation and character motivation like this character like lines that tell you like oh i don't want to go this way is is not an explanation for me justification yeah, it looks like this is our objective, so... Yeah, that's a little bit on the nose now. Unforgivable. Wait a second. I can't go this way too. <laughs> what is going on? Why? Why are, you, why are you doing this to me? It's like you're... It's like some sort of edging or something. It's like a level design edging or something. When you just... You put so many spaces that I kind of look very... I'm so curious to explore them. And you just like, nope, and another one, nope, and another one. I just, uh, I, just... yeah, well, I don't know. It's uh, it's definitely you know kind of, I guess stresses the fact that it is a, it feels like a game made by a person, who's 
very unfamiliar with like with Western level design conventions, you know. And I mean, they're they're Japanese, and judging by their um, by the Steam page, it looks like they just translated uh, the English text with just like a Google Translate or something. So yeah, I feel like they just they completely like unaware and uh, unfamiliar with whatever uh, level designers do in the in the Western part of, of game industry, which is. In a way, it's kind of very, you know, very curious, right? It's kind of fun. You don't, you don't know what to expect. Because that was, that was kind of like a nice, you can say, a subversion of expectations. If not, if there was no, not that fucking invisible wall. But yeah, that's, that's kind of this red light that immediately attracts your attention and sort of, you would think like, oh yeah, this is why I have to go. And then you just, no, nope, not really. Yeah, it could work maybe, but not in this particular way. <sighs> yeah, I just, I don't, I don't, it's, it's kind of funny that right now I just, I can't trust my eyes, you know? I got to that point when I just, I cannot trust what I see. Is this, I guess maybe you can say it also adds to the horror atmosphere. <laughs> like like you, you're, you're doubting yourself constantly, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure it's intentional. <clears throat> All right, I can go this. Natsukashi, what? I think it means interesting or something. Um, I don't know what that means. Something is interesting about this area. That's all I've got. Can I write? Oh, I can't even. Oh my god, there's like a. Yeah, there's an invisible wall that, that doesn't even let me to approach this. Um, what are called the seats, I guess. Hmm. Everything is so restrictive. What? What? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Uh. Yeah, I have no idea what that means too. I guess she is like maybe thinking. Uh, she kind of thinks about her memories, you know, experience, you no know, like, no nostalgia or something. Man, this this like interaction icon is just so weird. I think she said something about that this, uh, what do you call this thing? The riding uh, tool. <laughs> I don't know, my, my English doesn't work in this particular case. That This is like a, it was very tall when she was a kid or something. Slide, okay, thank you. Yeah, that this slide was very tall. But again, I, again, I'm just, I'm like working from like a, a single kanji that I recognized. <clears throat> okay. Also, kind of interesting how this playground, it's like the one of the walls is just basically like overgrown, right? With uh, with these trees, and I'll, I'll, actually, actually, I wanna also know, say that these trees are just so beautiful. Like they are not moving at all, right? They're, they don't have those like fancy animations, like they're completely still, but they're just so beautiful. Damn, it's just, it, it feels good just to look at these trees, you know? I think just as a kid, I would just, I would sit, can I sit? Wait a second, I can, holy shit, what? So, I guess I needed to interact with any other, like a playground thingy. And now I can, you know, sit in this, uh... I don't know what is those uh, two. What is this called? Uh, ba, 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 ba. Um, swing. Oh, okay. Thank you. You're you're teaching me important English lesson today. 
Yeah, okay. She mentions being like a elementary school student. She was like when I was she was waiting in this place for something. She was waiting for something, I guess. Mm, yeah. And I don't know. Something in the past. Something in the past. Okay. Up. Oh. Okay. All right. At least we have the. We could ride the swing. Yeah. But I, I was talking about. Oh yeah. I was talking about how. As a kid, I can imagine myself just sitting. Here and enjoying this wall of vegetation. You know. That's that's a nice view, in a kind of weird unintentional way you know since it feels like it just feels abandoned right <laughs> in a way it feels like yeah no one really took care of that playground and now we have this situation but it looks cool at least <clears throat> yeah interesting how this playground it's it's isolated uh in this kind of on this like a heightened Isolated area, right? I guess this is how uh, playground are constructed and placed in, a, in like in Japanese rural areas. Feels kind of unusual, right? For let's let's say for Europe. Although it's it's weird for Russia. It's definitely weird for Russia to build playground like this. <clears throat> it's kind of nice how isolated it is. In a way. Okay, that looks like a pass to the forest, right? Damn. I guess we just uh, we just have to go. So far, oh, god damn it! Another one, another is wall. I feel like it was like that in Shenmue too. What is what is Shenmue? Ah, you mean the game? Is it? Oh, oh, wait a second. Am I thinking about another Japanese game? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a Shenmue. Yeah, yeah. That's that was this. That's uh, that's what I thought about. Yeah, the the Japanese games that I played, I played basically like Yakuza Zero. I don't remember play, how playgrounds looked in Yakuza Zero. And. Uh, what is called Persona 5 but it was, it's been too long I don't really remember how they construct maybe because the land is so hidden yeah that's I guess that's one way to explain it yeah that's that would make sense <clears throat> it's also it's kind of like this road into into the forest into wilderness kind of the transition is interesting right it's just there is no gate. It's kind of like abruptly st starts uh, changing into this like wild forest area. And also in a way, I'm thinking as a parent, I feel like I would be a little bit scared to let my kid play. I mean, it's it's a it's a rural area. Like there's forest every everywhere at the same time. But yeah, it's just like you have this playground. And the kid can just uh, like take a few steps outside, and they're already in this fucking thing where like wild animals of all of all sorts can dwell or something. Yeah, I don't I don't know why I'm thinking about this, but it definitely feels kind of like, maybe like a dreamlike. Maybe this is like one of the qualities that the game is going for. <clears throat> What dangerous animals does Japan have? It, they definitely have bears because I remember reading like some really gruesome story about like a bear killing like a bunch of people in like one of those like rural Japanese areas. So I remember reading about that. Mm. They also have like dangerous insects, right? I think I heard some stories about. I don't remember what particular insects they had but there was like a I remember hearing about like some park in some Japanese like small town or something 
where it was like prohibited to enter like a, a certain point of, of like uh, of summer because there were like some dangerous insects or something. Worst we have in the UK is a squirrel. Really? You don't you don't have bears in UK? Or like wild uh, what were called wild boars or something? Hmm. I think there should be something. Really? You don't have bears? Wait a second. Really? You must you must have something. You do actually have badgers. <laughs> okay. That that's that's a surprise to me. Hmm. But anyway, at, at the same time, again, I will I will say I'll stress how this like the trees is just if this game can be commended for something, for sure. It's first it's it's shadows. Big respect for shadows that you just you can't see anything in them. And the second one is just the the vegetation. It's just God, this is it feels it looks so good. And in Zero, we have a venomous snake called the Adder. But I've never seen one. Is it like is it lethal snake? Can it like actually kill a person? Or is it just it's like very uh it hurts a lot or something. No, not a for human, okay. It's hmm, can kill rodents. Hmm. Yeah, it's I feel like it's one of the like biggest fears for me. If you get bit by a snake, how would it hurt? How the venom would hurt? You know how what what, what is how does it feel to suffer from a like venomous bite? Yeah, it just there there even the thought about that experience kind of uh, terrifies me a little bit. So I I'm glad that I'm living in the area, and I live in Saint Petersburg. We don't again yeah, we don't really have snakes or anything like that. We have squirrels, by the way, and I guess we can maybe we probably have like in deep forest areas we can. I don't know. We have bears, probably not. Maybe moose. Oh, uh, we probably have boars. I think. How far away are Russian brown bears? Oh, I think they're actually yeah. They're probably they're probably like in in like in. Um, in the part of Russia where like where Siberia is, where Siberia is, or, like the the Far East region we call it. I don't know what you call it in English, but I think the like the North Western part where like the Saint Petersburg is, the Moscow is. I don't think we have anything dangerous at all. Yeah, all the scary shit is probably like in the parts, like in the East parts where like very few people live, <clears throat> and where the the climates like it's tough actually like. Like stereotypically rough and cold and all this stuff. <clears throat> okay, let's let's finally enter. I kind of it's it's kind of interesting how I feel like this game is just we won't encounter any jump scares at all or any like traditional sort of horror elements at all. Judging by what we've seen so far, it's just, yeah, it's, I feel like it's all about uh, navigating the space and like soaking into the, into the mood. It's just, it's not, I'm not against it. If anything, I'll probably in favor of this kind of approach to horror. Even so, you, you need some sort of, kind of like a release, I guess you can say. Are you sure it's meant to be horror? It says that it is a J-horror. Like, let me, let me. Uh, my memory is not that bad, right? It's a, it's a J horror walking simulator. Yeah, so they sp they explicitly say J horror. Um, wait a second. Did you hear this? Like someone like moved or something. Okay, the moment I started talking, uh, how how this game is just like it's not really, uh, it doesn't feature any like. Like conventional horror elements, it started doing something. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we'll see. Um, God, it's one hour already. God damn it! And I feel like I didn't even. Okay, what? Uh, I think it's it means shrine, right? It's something about shrine or temple. 
Or oh, maybe she doesn't remember like a temple in this place. Um, Kana Takoro Atanda. Yeah, I don't know what she said. <clears throat> I don't know what that means. Uh, something is open. Something, someone came or something to this place. I don't know. Oh, what's this? Why it's highlighted? What? What is this thing? What is it? I, I don't understand what this, like, uh, pizza-looking object is. Um, mm, yeah, I don't know what, she, what she's saying, but she's confused too. Okay, we're having a cutscene. What? What is... Do you... What am I looking at? I don't understand what I'm looking at. Oh, okay, we are have. All right, we are we are entering. We're officially entering a horror territory. <laughs> that was some Monka ass moment. And you know what? I'm kind of surprised that it was done through cutscene. Uh, yeah, she has a bad feeling, but that's it. I still have no idea what this thing is. I have no idea what, it, what this object is. Oh, wait, what? And the location is different now. Okay, all right. Okay, I'm kind of kind of digging it. Is it? Is it like an artificial pond or something? Looks like it. For a second, I thought it was like a static water texture, but no, it's it's moving, only very slowly. It feel, it doesn't feel like water, right? It feels like some sort of some other substance, some sick substance, I think. But no, that's that doesn't feel like water at all. It's kind of it's kind of creepy the way it moves. Yeah, like a tar pit. Mm. Okay, so we reached this place. We uh, did something. We saw a scary cutscene. Um, I guess we go. Could I go this way? No, nope, it's a dead end. I guess I just return. But I'm just I'm thinking about this like this corridor alone. I feel like this this place like took the most amount of work. Again, the sound again the sound, the sweet sound. It's, it, I think it's also played like in the same spot, right? It played in the same area last time, I think. Damn, that's a good corridor. That's yeah, a, uh, it's really good corridor. Very beautiful corridor. Mm. Okay, uh, let's return. Home, I assume. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Yeah, it looks like this game is like very um patient when it comes to like scaring player. Which is uh which is kinda nice I would say. 
definitely builds this uh, uh, tense sort of mood when you just you're not sure what to expect, right? You would you would think that something bad would happen already, but it's not happening, and it, it keeps not happening, and then boop. I think I also just heard something, like someone like s whispering? Am I just making things up? Hmm. Can't believe that the red light is in... Yeah, I just... I have like every time I just... Like... <laughs> why? Why would you do this? Uh, like... Let's say it's, it, it's just like a part of like, architecture, right? What kind of like what kind of building it is that you it looks like some kind of storage right like some sort of storage area like why would you put like a, a red like a giant like bright light thingy <laughs> it just doesn't fit this uh, area at all <clears throat> oh the water sound I kind of like how, again, you, you sort of see water, but it's just, it's dark, you, so you don't, uh, you don't really, you don't really see it, you just kind of like, okay, there's something, there's something water-like. And the most uh, labor, like the most work is done by, um, by the sound effects. I wonder what the kanji says. Uh... If they were a little bit more high res, maybe I could like. Yeah, I don't know. I won't. I won't even try to guess. Fire cistern. What? Hmm. Uh, why this sign is placed on this fence? Hmm, that's that's a that's a weird one. The fire department. Ah, oh, wait a second, wait a second. Yeah, maybe it is a fire department. I can kind of see like the kanji, the the right, uh, the kanji on the right. It looks kind of like sort of like fire to me. Uh, you see this uh, like the second kanji. It means fire basically, and. You can see it looks kind of similar to the last country on the right. So maybe it is fire department. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe this is exactly what it is. Okay, this is... That looks... That, look, that sounds plausible. All right. And now it, it sort of makes sense, I guess. Also, now I want to I wanna kind of Google and see how, like, uh, fire departments look in, like, a Japanese rural areas. Does it, like, really have this, like, a... Like a giant fire uh, light fixtures. <clears throat> giant. Did I say giant fire like light fixtures? Giant like red light fixtures. Okay, I'm. I really hope I'm not backtracking for no reason. I still can't go this way. Ah. <sighs> Can I go this way? Nope. My way they have a red light so people know not to block the entrance. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I guess it may be the case, even so I I don't think I've ever seen anything like this, you know? Like a way to to signal that you don't block the entrance by like putting this red light on. Hmm. All right, I I don't know. Am I going back? Uh, the... I think that it means that I'm doing the right thing. I guess I need to like find something.
Oh, okay, I need... Uh, I don't know what this journal is about. Okay, I picked it up. Mm. Alright, I have to read it, I guess, maybe? Maybe bring to this up. Was it lit before? I don't remember. I don't think it was lit before, right? Or maybe I I lit I lit it. Did you ever do anything with that scoop of rice? I think I just put it. I interacted with this altar thingy, and I think this is actually what like that that scoop thing is, right? Only it's there are two of them <laughs> for some reason. Um, God, I wish I wish this game had like a zoom in mechanic or something. Uh, okay. The weird step sounds are back, so I I I feel like I'm at home. I can flush again. Nice. <clears throat> Okay, let's try to go upstairs, maybe? Oh, it's it got really... Okay, I like this. I like this transition. How we... When we enter this uh, the house, it just gets like a, like a midnight, I guess, or whatever. Oh, that's nice. Kind of, kind of like, uh, has this... A nice element of surprise. God, it's so weird how this, uh, like a whatever this, like a paper journal thing, it's, it clips through the wall. God, it's it's so annoying. Still can't enter this room. Okay, and I, I can't enter this one too. Okay, anything that I can do here? Uh, nope, okay. I guess this is not the place. Have you seen a game called How Fish is Made? Mm, is it that indie game where like when you move through like a bunch of like surreal corridors and you took like a bunch of fishes or something? Is it the one? Like uh, it has like a trippy, it's like a trippy horror game. Uh, oh, maybe I'm thinking about the wrong one. Okay, let me actually just since I can do it very quick. Uh, am I thinking about the right game? Yeah, this is the one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't played it, but I, I've seen it on uh, on stream. Yeah, that was that was like interesting short uh, experience, even just to, you know, to, to see on stream at least. <clears throat> Okay, maybe I should take it out somewhere outside. I feel like I should go outside since the the time of day changed, and I've, it it looks like I explored everything. Oh, nice! Really like this light. Is it flickering too, or is it just? It's so weird the the lighting in this game. It's like so weird how it works. It's like it, it, it looks sometimes that it's just like a flickering effect, but then you just move in a specific spot and, and it just disappears completely. I wonder what engine this game is made in. 
I think it's. Is it was it Unity? No, I don't remember. I don't. I don't remember. There were there were no like logos at launch. Kind of curious about like technical aspects. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. It, it's dark something. Something something about post. Post. Mm, okay. I, I guess I'll just explore. Looks like the Unity engine problem. There is a maximum number of lights that can affect an object. And sometimes the engine has trouble working out which ones are most important. Mmm, okay, all right. Yeah, that, that makes sense. That definitely feels like a game that uh, was made by like unexperienced developer, right? Okay, can go this way. Even so, there's like ah, oh, there's like this taunting light spot, right? That wasn't present uh, in the previous like time of day, right? Section when like when it was evening or something, and so that that particular area was completely like obscured in the shadow but now i can see like okay there is something there is even light right and I, can't, I still can't go this way and what, a, what, a, what a torture Can I go this way now? Ah, uh, no. Are those, uh, what are those called, like mirror thingies that... I, us I usually see them, uh, in, in Russia at least, in uh, like in supermarkets, right? But I guess I, like, I've, I've seen photos like of Japan before where they have those mirror thingies. I, I don't really know what they're for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like. I feel like they're very common in Japan, but like, what what is their purpose? I'm like, I just, I don't know what they do really. They kind of look cool, I guess. There is even there are some kanjis, but I can see shit. Ah, for seeing cars around corners. Hmm. When you're trying to get out of your drive. Ah, okay. All right. I see. I see now. Yeah, it's kind of kind of interesting how it's it's like in Russia we just we don't have those at all. <clears throat> so I guess I just go back to the forest area. Looks like like the only place where I can go. Okay, yeah, that was, that was, okay, someone, is, is there is, do you see something moving? Oh man, I can't see shit. Maybe this folder is evidence of something bad and you need to throw it into the target. Ah, okay, all right, that kind of makes sense. Yeah, I, I really like it. I really like how this game treats darkness right and how it features monsters in this very obscure way that just makes you like you see that there, there was something right i think something moved and that was the thing that making the noise i guess that real like voice uh but yeah i just i couldn't see the, through the darkness what exactly it was so that's good i i i like this approach to the, to the use of darkness, like in, in combination with like a, like horror elements, like monsters or something. I think it was like a monster thingy, right, that we saw earlier in the cutscene.
yeah, so far, like, whatever horror elements... Well, I guess cutscene maybe was... The problem with cutscene that it was a cutscene, right? <laughs> it was kind of like, okay, well... It's a, sort of a safe way, right, to to do the horror bit, to introduce, like, the horror creature, like, the ghost or whatever it was. Uh, so that was, you can say, kind of... Maybe a little bit, a little bit uh, lame, in a way. But no, I don't. I, it's not a big deal for me. But yeah, the the way this game treats like horror elements, the cutscene, that uh, ghost hiding behind the fence and saying weird things. I I enjoyed a lot. I, I'm glad that there are no jump scares so far. Oh my god, this is like this is completely dark. I can't see shit. And this is this is some good stuff. This is some good stuff right here. Wait a second. What? There's there's a wall now. Yes, yeah, there's like a lock. All right. Uh, maybe that ghost was used as a. Um, as like a guiding tool, maybe... Okay, let me explore this playground. Maybe I actually need to try to like reach through that fence or something? Okay, I remember how I was, I was mentioning how like, oh man, it, it would be... I imagine myself being a kid like that sits on that swing and like looks and enjoys this like overgrown area. I take my words back. This is some creepy shit, right? <laughs> I would just, I would be like, man, it would be so, so like intense experience to just sit, like at that time of day, and just look into this wall of darkness and trying to like to figure out, like, was it something? What did something move? Something in the in that in that uh, uh, behind that tree or not? God, this is this is some good stuff. Okay, let's explore that that fans area where we encountered the ghost. Wait a second, what is this? Uh, okay, <laughs> that was a little bit random. <laughs> I just I just spotted a highlighted like. Uh, it's also funny how this, uh, like, mailbox is just, it's lit, because it's, because it's, it's, it's lit, and that's it. <laughs> there's, like, there's no, well, I guess maybe you can say that this is, this line, uh, light post, uh, creates a light for it. But you can see, like, you can clearly see there's, like, a, uh, point light, <laughs> like, like, somewhere here. <laughs> <clears throat> Why did I do this, by the way? What was the point of giving? Yeah, I wonder. Didn't fit very well. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of it's kind of in dangerous position, right? It's it feels like it's like you you need some strong wind and it just will fall out of the out of the box. This is not how you deliver important uh, papers. That's for sure. I would expect like a, a very careful Japanese citizen not to do this kind of way thing, right? <laughs> okay, now I just I I did this for some reason, and I have no idea what to do next. So let's just run around. Is this wall still here? Yep. Hmm. 
Now this uh, red lamp looks very menacing. <laughs> now just at the beginning, it's like it has interesting dynamic, you know. Uh, at the beginning, it is, we, uh, we kind of saw that okay, maybe it's some sort of a guiding tool. Maybe this is like our like goal that we need to reach. And then it was like just interesting curiosity that maybe it was like a part of a, of a you know, like set dressing, right? That this is like a fire department. And now it's just like, it's like just very menacing red light lamp, you know? Okay, can I enter this? Fuck me! Oh my god, all right, all right. I did not ex... <coughs> oh, okay. That kid looks... Like the, the proportions are weird. I don't know, it's like the head is too big maybe? There is something something weird about that kid. Apart from the fact that it just appeared out of nowhere. Uh. Are they crying or something? The 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 sound is. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I mean, they kind of look weird, but you know, uh, I think this is too much. But the the crying sounds like like there's something weird about them, right? It's like the reverse or something. I don't know. There's like hmm. Yeah, there is something wrong here, buddy. Can I talk to you? Uh, are you okay? She's asking. Did, what, what happened? He he called what? Um. Again, I kind of like how the subtitles are colored, the different characters. Appreciate it. Um, I, I don't know what, what they're talking about. Uh, I will say this: I was expecting this game to like to be like a very sort of uh, lonely journey, right? And that's how like usually walking scenes go. That is just, you are navigating basically like a dead world in a sense. There are no living characters present. So that's, that was like an expectation that I s sort of created for myself as I saw this game and I, as I started playing it, that it is like a very, uh, like very traditional walking sim. But I guess, and, 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 and it created like a nice surprise in the end for me, right? That, okay, now we have a kid. That we can talk to. Yeah, that was that was a bit unexpected. Even so, again, the person, like the author of this game, uses a walking sim term. But I wonder how much they like again. It's I wonder how much they're familiar with uh, like with the genre and uh, like the conventions of this of the walking sim sort of tradition. Probably not that much, right? I don't think, like, I, I doubt games like Dear Esther, Going Home, Stanley Parable, they're, like, they're popular in Japan. I assume that's, those like, a, for Japanese, like, average Japanese gamer, those, like, some obscure games. Hmm. Okay, something about house, house, something, something. Uh, um... Something about their, I think it's older sister, and uh, okay, they they need to wait. I say to the kid that uh, just wait here. Okay, okay, I, I forgot to mute Telegram. I'm sorry. Give me a second. All right. Okay, so now it looks like we need to help that kid. Completely unsuspicious kid. Mm. Oh, I maybe I need to call the phone, like to call the police or something. 
Let's see. Is my guess correct? Still can't go this way. Casual clipping through doors. Am I right? Fuck him, I'm wrong. <laughs> ah. God damn it. Uh, okay. How else can I help that kid? What can I do for them? Um, I can bring them rice. I <laughs> Maybe they're... <laughs> nope. Should we just kick them? <laughs> Yeah, that's that's one way to do it. You know what? I'll, I'll flush the toilet. I know I can count on toilet at least to be flushed. That's uh, that's like a s area of safety for me. Poof. Maybe I feel like maybe I need to go to one of the houses. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think there is anything in my room. Okay, we don't really have a lot of space to explore, so let's just go back to like playground or to the forest. I feel like in, in situation like this, you shouldn't abandon the kid, right? <laughs> you probably you. you that's not how you do it. You just you need to company kid and not leave them in that at that time of day. Can I go this way maybe? Nope. No, can't go this way too. Okay, you're still here, so that's uh, kind of nice, I guess. It's kind of kind of interesting how, from one perspective, like from one uh, point, the way this game treats like lighting, in a you can say in a bit of a unconventional way, right? That causes more of a confusion, <laughs> maybe. Uh, but at the same time, if, if we are, let's look at this like post box, like a mailbox. It's uh, it's like a, maybe a little bit even too much. It's a little bit even, a little bit too known to know, and to know is how it's, it's highlighted to make sure the player notices that this is like something that they probably, this object that they should pay attention to it. <clears throat> okay, am I really have to go to the forest? I don't think so. There is, the wall is still here, I think, right? I think. Oh, you know how some people, I just, it's like the biggest crime you can do. How people, some people in the, like in dark horror games, they like open settings and uh, make gamma as like as high as possible. Like, I just, I, I think it's like one of the greatest sin you can commit in, in a games like this. You just, you're basically cheating, in a, like in a bad way. You're doing something even worse than cheating. Huh, hmm. Okay. Okay, I am... I really want to help this kid, but I'm not really sure how. Hmm. 
So I, I told them to wait. Yeah, which means I need to do something. I need to like call for help or something. And the phone was like, I feel like a very natural way to do it. Um. <laughs> I can't go this way. So it's probably something in the house, I assume. Maybe I need to bring them food? Wait, wait a second. Ah, oh, I can... Okay, alright. I can pick it up now. I couldn't before, but I can do it now. God damn it, I just... I, uh. Okay, what do I open it with? Oh, the forest? <laughs> Stop, kid, with the kid. <laughs> you, are, you are so violent today. <laughs> Okay, maybe the if this is the key for the um, for the forest, like for the lock that prevents me to go into the forest, I will be mad. I'll be just mad because that lock, you like you can barely see it, right? This is horror game. You need to look out for this. <laughs> uh, I also like how giant this key is. <laughs> it just takes almost like a half of the screen. <laughs> it's just it's it's completely inconsistent in how it looks uh, in a, you know when it's on the table when it was on the table. <laughs> it's just it's like it is a weapon. It looks like a weapon, you know. You, like I, I f yeah, I, I I feel like I can just actually just tap someone. God. I, Okay, no, this is not the key for that. <laughs> that would be kind of that would be kind of too much. Maybe maybe I'm being a little bit disrespectful <laughs> to this game. <laughs> Assuming like the most uh, the the most absurd uh, scenario. You haven't really seen a lock, really? Am I? S I think it's a lock. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Don't you see it? I think this is a lock. Kinda looks like a lock. I don't know on... I don't know, can I like... Uh, um... Is this brightness? No. Is this brightness? No. Yeah, oh, whatever. Okay. So, that's probably something in the house, right? Okay, damn it. Why? Ah. I'm, I'm, I'm overthinking it. God damn it. It's kind of thing. It's kind of funny to think about how you can you can be very expressive, right? It's a with such a like a trivial things, like this key, for example. It could be like the most boring generic key item that you just pick up, you know, in in countless games like this. But this key, it's. What what was this? Okay, that, that's some artifact looks like. Anyway, yeah, uh, this key is just it, this key is special how, because how giant it is. Like I just yeah, the, I will remember this key. Also, the texture, the texture work is uh, quite peculiar too. Yeah, you just you make it a little bit big uh, on the player screen, 
And that's all you need sometimes to create and to leave an impression. Okay, I guess I need to open some of the doors. Maybe like the door on the second floor? Am I right? Please tell me I'm right. Fuck. I don't... God damn it. Okay, what can I unlock it with? Let's let's uh let's run around. Oh, maybe it's There was like a public public toilet or like a storage thing, right? Outside. That we saw. There, yeah, I don't think there's anything inside. Oh god, those, those steps sound... I just... I can't... This is the... Hmm. Yeah, looks like it's something outside. Yeah, this door I can open it. Okay, if it's not the that little building, then I'm not sure what it is. It's highlighted. Okay, that's a good sign. Mailbox? I think I checked mailbox, right? I like approached it several times. Yeah, I, or maybe you mean like the the another one? I'm kind of I'm I'm putting my bets on this because I was it's just it's so. Well, actually, I guess there is a, there is a light fixture. Yes. Oh, yeah, so you... okay, you meant mine, all right. Okay, I have a... I have a plank now. <laughs> what do I need plank for? Uh, why... what do I need plank for? <laughs> or kidney ch child with... <laughs> uh, uh, okay, this is... A <laughs> This is not getting easier. Plank. Lake? But the lake is locked. Save child and lake? You mean there is, you speculate there's a second child that needs help? I guess you can maybe like use this plank to climb and get into the forest. Mm, yeah, they're like, there's definitely a space for speculation. You still here, buddy? You're still here. Yeah, I don't think I can hit them. Alright. Yeah, it's, it's probably something with... It has something to do with the forest, I think. I'm kind of glad that this game is not big, like this, the space is not big. Hmm. This light post is just, it's so suspicious to me. It's like, it feels like I have to do something here. Maybe not. Can I... Yeah, I feel like because how dark it is, that's just not the way. 
even, even so, again, I am like, I am not sure. I'm a bit cautious in regard to like how to read like visual language of this game. But it looks like any important objects that are just highlighted, right? There's a point light or something. Still, so... So ha maybe it's against something in the house? Something in the house. Hmm. Yep, I can't go this way. It's like playing on hard mode. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how much it makes sense in when you know like uh you know Japanese and you understand what they're saying. Because it for for now, whatever I'm doing, it doesn't make it doesn't make much sense, I'll be honest. Just clipping. Uh, still can't go this way. Yep. So it's not about climbing. It's like repairing something. Or maybe there is something else that I need to pick up. Nope. Yeah, 30 minutes game. 30 minutes long game. Yeah. Not for me. Not for me, buddy. Okay, let's just run around the house. Can I hit the... I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. Part time. Let's, let's flush it. Why not? It will never hurt to flush the toilet. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's probably not on this floor. Just in case. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I don't I don't really have ideas. What I can use it for a plank. Maybe there is something on the other side of the of the house, but it's, again, it's pitch dark, and I kind of assume that it means there's nothing really for me. Yeah, it's just it's just dark completely. <clears throat> Okay, is there is anything inside this? Nope. There was an invisible wall too, so...
Damn, I'm slowly starting to, to kind of dislike this kid. <laughs> it's not your fault. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. It's just I'm playing the game in a language that I don't know, really. Yeah, that's... Okay, let's, uh, let's try to check maybe like a guide of this game. There are no guides. <laughs> like literally, there are no literally no guides for this one. Uh, there is <laughs> there is one topic in English uh, on the Steam forum, and the, the person says, "Dear developers, hello. I have an in-game suggestion. The game is too dark. Can you give the protagonist a flashlight?" Because I adjust the screen brightness to the brightest, but I can still can see. I still can see very clearly. Uh, weakling. I'm top streamer in the category. I say this. I'm surprised this game has a, a, a category on Twitch. It's it's actually like you can uh, put it into like a game category. Like, I'm surprised that it has. Okay, let's let's just pull up some like uh, YouTube uh, walkthrough if there is one. It must be one, right? Uh, okay, so it's uh, it's Sato Yigiri. Sato Yigiri. Did I start? Okay, it's not... Oh my god. Yeah, I just... Uh, okay, let's see. The plunk. What are you doing with the plunk? We're, we're kind of close to the end. So that's... Uh, that's nice. All right, let's see. Oh my, oh my, oh my God. Okay, all right. So the problem with the kid was, God damn it. And, and that was like a purely the problem of not understanding the, the language. It had the kid, do you see? <laughs> they, they, they got there like a paper plane stuck in the tree. And well, yeah, you can you can bring the you know the sort of the stereotypical kind of like uh, <clears throat> view on how gamers don't look up in video games, but in this case the problem was because I didn't understand that the the kid was talking about this uh, the paper plane, so that was entirely the issue. And it's <laughs> it's so funny how it's how it's highlighted, right? It's it's it, uh, <laughs> what is highlighting this. Uh, Paper plane? Is it like a self-illuminating thing? And like the material? <clears throat> yeah, but you know what? Yeah, I, I would say actually, you know, it's it's a bad level design. It's bad level design. Did you didn't you know that gamers don't look up? God damn it! It's just it's all your fault, not mine, not mine at all. Okay. <laughs> God, how, how huge this this plane! Look at this plane! It's it's massive. It's like it's just it's like a weapon in in a retro shooter or something, you know. <clears throat> it's like a melee weapon, like a you can use a propeller to like cut enemies in pieces. I don't know. <clears throat> All right, kid. Wait, now you're just throwing the kid. No, no, no! I'm giving I'm giving it the kid, right? Yeah. Yeah, the, I'm I'm the good good person. Like, oh my god, this is so weird. Like, imagine being a kid, like at like in in that time of day, and it's like a midnight or something. And instead of going home, you're just sitting on the road, crying because you got your plane, a fucking paper plane stuck in a tree. That's not what the kid would do. 
This is this is very sus. I am. What? Arigato. Uh, ah, the okay, the sister thing. Uh, it, it, she, they refer to us because I think on Onisan it also can be used to like to like stranger, like uh, random, like young women. Uh, there is something behind us. Okay, there is. Okay, we're getting to the horror. What is this? <clears throat> and they just clip through us. Yeah, it, it feels. You know, that felt very consistent with the uh, like. With this game, you know, like how everything is clipping through everything, the objects we hold. Yeah, that kind of... That... Hmm? Oh wait, they... did they... did they steal the kid from us? I'm sure a zombie you're happy about that fact. So... <laughs> Are we, are we like saving the kid now? I guess now we're going to the forest. That's like the only place, right? This is where we saw the the, the ghost or like the monster or whatever. It was so. It was a. Uh, you can say like a conventional jump scare, right? But again, it was. I kind of appreciate how they did it. How they just. Uh, they. No, the path to the forest is still dark. Yeah, I feel like this is not... So we just go home now or something? Right? Hmm. Yeah, so I, I just appreciate that the, the jump scare was... It wasn't loud, right? It didn't feature like loud, uncomfortable screaming. So uh, that's that's one thing that I guess I kind of appreciate. You were more shocked when you first saw the shot. Well. It is, <laughs> it is true because it was. I mean, it was a jump scare, but and I kind of I like how the the way they did it. You know, they did it like in a more tasteful manner. Uh, but ultimately, it was like your, you know, standard. Oh, there's a monster appearing, and then the monster is just, just in that case, there was just like, like a Sonic running through us or something. Uh, but yeah, it was more or less in line with you know what you expect from games like this. The kid, I just I did not anticipate the kid at all. It was like something that I just I completely I didn't even think about that it there would be other care. Okay, that creature is in my house. I like the I like the design. Uh, like I caught whatever glimpse I caught of this. Uh, I guess I can call it ghost. This is what I also like. As I men I mentioned it already, right? How the game is being very careful with showing how the the monster looks, right? It's Sometimes it rather obscures it almost completely that you can just you can barely see that there's something and so, in other cases like in case like that you can you can see you can see sort of like parts of it like there was like a head and like a neck or something or whatever right that you could sort of distinct distinguish but that's it you don't really see the creature clearly it's uh it's it remains a mystery for you, even in the jump scare sequence, right? And I think for a successful horror, that's just 
how you should approach if you have a monsters, you know, in your, in your horror game. You just, you never truly reveal like in a complete, completely like clear manner. Especially if it's like, it's, if it's like some sort of ghost, mysterious ghost figure or something like this. It has like a supernatural nature to it. Okay. Whoever is calling us, they asking if they're if they if uh, if we are okay. Oh, it's it's our mother. Uh oh my god, that's a lot to read. Something about electricity. Hmm. Yeah. Sense. Okay, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure what she's talking about. Something about Sensei, I think? Um, <laughs> okay, yeah, I didn't really... Ah! Oh, they're in the toilets in space, right? <laughs> that's, that's a bit of a random question. Uh, I can't say yet, you know? I just... I will keep it a secret. You know, I can't... I'm not really... I can't really... Partially because I can't share information yet, yes. About toilets in space, we're into. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but... You know, also partially because I want to keep the mystery, you know? <clears throat> I will, I think I'll stream Space Marine 2. So, because it's it's actually a game that I, I can talk about, like, what, how we worked on it, how we did it, how we, like, developed it, instead of just speculating, uh, like, yeah, I usually do. So, uh, yeah. And you will see. You will see. If there are any toilets, you will see them. If there are, if there are any toilets, okay. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not saying if there will be toilets. Or they will, they will not be toilets. Okay, I'm not saying this. <laughs> okay. That, uh, okay. Uh, so she, she says, "Hello, hello. Can you hear me?" Uh, I'll say that the ghost um, hands, I don't really like them. I just they're kind of partially because they are like very, as I. They have clearly shown, right? In contrast to the ghost creature, you can like clearly see they like they're gray and they're feet, they're, they're detached hands and and, this, and stuff. So and they're kind of like they fall into a little bit into like cliche sort of uh, part to me, I guess. It's just it's not really scary, right? Like oh, detached hands crawling on my wall. Uh, yeah, these days it's it's not something that scares people, I think. Uh, okay, right right now. Pa, 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 pa. Um, <laughs> this night I think she says that don't come out of the house today, like like during night or something. Um, wait for the. I think it's it says like wait for the morning or something. So they don't want us to leave the house, basically. And they're apologizing. Um. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so they, they just ask us to wait in the house. Which is a very bad idea, I think. The house has more monsters than anyone else. Yeah, I guess we kind of, I don't know, maybe we can say we invited them. Like, they followed us. So, I guess I'm, I need to go to sleep. Dokoni Aron 
Mm. Niin. Keshi. Okay, she thinks about some place. Well, maybe I need to go to the altar. Yeah, because it's sacred part of the house or something. Where even is your bed? Yeah, that was kind of <laughs> that was kind of interesting. I woke up in my room, right, in the on the second floor, but I don't think I had like a bed, like this um, uh, the the bed on the floors. But I don't, I don't know what they're called. It's not tatami, right? Tatami is a different thing. Um, so, like, this is one of the places where I I can potentially sleep, but I guess not. I think I just need to go to my room. Man, this red light. Yeah, this is where I woke up. But I just... yeah, I have... Hmm. Maybe I can enter one of those rooms? Nope. I think one point of criticism, and I, I sort of kind of have mentioned it, right? Is how this game when it comes to its horror elements, all the like two, like you can say, like uh, significant horror sequences, they were done through cutscene. Actually, there's three, including jump scare, right? And it's. And the problem with this cutscene, of course, is that in a cutscene, you know that you just you have no agency, you have no control. So it. Cutscenes, because of their sort of nature, you can say, they betray the purpose of horror. Because a, as a player, you when the cutscene starts, you like you realize that okay, I am whatever is happening, I'm not really in control. It can be still kind of scary, sure. The jump scare it startled me. I mean, it's it's a jump scare, but ultimately, it you can argue that it robs. The game of its horror aspect when it's done and you can again it's understandable understandable why you would you do that because again there's just there are a very safe way to guarantee that the player will see what you want them to show but thankfully the game doesn't really like heavily rely on this right it's, it's kind of mixed bag in this regard Okay, what am I supposed to do? I I need to wait, but I also need to. What? Okay, no, it's just it's a it's a door. Maybe I need to go out. I guess. Actually, like. Oh, I think those uh, the floor beds are called futons, right? Am I thinking another? Is it like a different? Thing? I think they're called futons. At least some of them are called futons. Okay, is there a light in the end? Fuck! There is still there is still no light. Oh, I miss. Okay, I'm just. Yeah, I'll just I'll consult the video once more. Oh, you know the person who is playing actually I only now noticed 
they have a translation? They have like Japanese text and English text? Oh, so there's like an official translation? Fuck me, I should have researched this a little bit more. God damn it, okay, let's... Uh Okay, I see. I I need to I need to pick up a thing in the kitchen. God damn it. Uh, what did I Yeah, it's 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 kind of an easy mode. I said earlier how there is like a certain mm, benefit, right, to to playing games like this. Fucking sh it's it's just. <laughs> I feel like, I think this is just an artifact. It's unintentional, but god damn it, I just. Uh, it might be like a jump scare on, on, on its own. Anyway, I, I mentioned earlier how one can think that there are like benefits to playing games like this in their original language, right? But uh, considering how much second guessing and how much confusion I'm like going through without knowing what I have to do, it's just yeah, maybe uh, cons like outweighing the pros. In this kind of case, oh no, I need to go to the kitchen. It's also kind of funny how, I it's it, in terms of story, it's supposed to be like very tense moment, right? I like the time is ticking. There is a ghost in my uh, home, so I have to like I have to like be uh, as quick as possible, but. Actually, no, I can just, I can wander around and chill and enjoy the, you know, the, the atmosphere. Okay, let's take it. Uh, I don't know what it, ah, it's, it's salt, okay. And I think I now I can go back to my room. Yeah, it's like, it has like some sort of mask, right? And I guess like another thing that you can mention how corridors there is just like personally you know as a level designer it's uh usually feels like in the discourse it's kind of frowned maybe like not explicitly on a like a linear level design right because usually like when you think about a level design. You think, about, oh yeah, it's 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 like it's something like a Dark Souls, right? Where you have a big open area that is interconnected in all sorts of ways. You can go this way, you can go that way, and it's all about non-linearity, like open, open, uh, you know, space, open world level design. But I don't know, honestly, and I guess this is kind of maybe my bias comes in since I'm primarily is like experienced in like more of a linear level design work i just i i love corridors god damn it like just corridors are just so good they're like one of the best friends you know, of a level designer you know because corridor in a sense is just basically like a masked you know uh, obscured cutscene right because in a corridor you're more or less safely can assume where the player will look at right and in this, especially like in case of a horror game you can be more or less sure that yeah the player will see if, if i put like a scary thing in the end of the corridor the player will notice it and i just like i just i love corridors i just i just i, I fucking i love them you know imagine how much less interesting this corridor would, would be if it didn't have the glass hole i mean this is also true like yeah the the art of making a corridors feel like not corridors. That's like another topic you can bring in, uh, which is again, yeah, it's a corridor not necessarily should feel like a corridor. It's not like 
necessarily a bad thing if you just if you know how to construct the space in such a way that the player doesn't feel like necessarily like they're in, in a tight linear space. But at the same time, like in this case, in case of hero game, like you can say like in the like in say like in a in the game like Dark Souls, you can say like corridors are just boring, right? Like just the for a player there is no there is no room, right, to explore, there is no like uh like possibilities and potential for like interesting encounters or something like this. And it's just it's 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 bad. It's bad type of like space to use. But in a game like a horror, like like a horror game like this, you can say corridors are just amazing. They're an extremely good type of space, not just because they're good at making sure that the player will see whatever uh, you want them to see, but also it, it's just a good way to build tension, right? Because I, I have nowhere to go. I need to go through this corridor in order to reach my goal. And I'm just kind of like, it just naturally build, creates this very tense uh, mood that I just, I, I know I have to go through this. And there, I don't know what is waiting for me, like on the behind the corner, on in the end. Uh, but I have to do it, right? It's just the process of walking. It creates this like tense anticipation, right? <clears throat> in other very in, in other games, you could say like, yeah, it's corridors. You should be careful how with, with how you use them. But here, I think it's just it's it's a great. It's just it's it's very good level. Isn't it? <laughs> And of course, darkness works like perfectly well in a in a situation like this. Two, as we is like so a few times before, is there like a monster up here? <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me let me guess. This is where I need to put the salt. Uh, okay. <laughs> wow, this is some some weird anomaly. Oh, this is so scary. <laughs> I, I, okay, this is maybe this is maybe a little bit too much. Maybe like it's, it's a little bit too much, too much. With uh, I I know you're trying to like you want to be sure that the player will see like notice the spot where they need to interact with, but um. Yeah, maybe you can be. There is not. There is not a lot of space, right? Maybe you don't even need this, like a, a spotlight. I think it's just the player will when they will like walk around trying to find the the area that they need to interact with. They will like naturally stumble upon this because it's like the room is far, is it's it's small. Ah, uh, well, okay, okay. Let's let's start. Uh, something about feeling something, I guess, bad or something, I don't know. <clears throat> and of course, it ultimately ends in cutscene. This is such a weird salt. It doesn't look like salt at all. It feels like two space or something. Or like, uh, like this, like a building foam, you know, that is used. When, when, during construction. Okay, the hands long, <laughs> long sock. Okay, the long sock is is uh yeah, it's interesting association. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, right? About cutscene. I'm just, is it scary? Well, kinda, sort of, but also not really because. I just, whatever is going to happen. Okay, yeah. Uh, I guess we lost. I guess the assault didn't do enough job since it didn't look like assault at all. Yeah. Uh... Okay. 
Yeah, I don't know. It's it's too much. I I won't even try to read this. Ah. <sighs> yeah, the final cutscene was, in a sense, it was even a bit um, predictable, right? The that the ghost eventually like. The ritual, the salt, whatever, didn't work against against it. And I assume it didn't work. I don't really know what, exactly what happened, like in the end. Uh, yeah, the ending was a little bit let down, I would say. The hands, like uh, they used it like three them three times, right? And I feel like the second time I saw them, I was already kind of unimpressed. Yeah, yeah, they definitely overused the hands, I think. And the, the, the ghost, the monster, the creature, the way they handle it, the, the presentation, I think that was great. Again, being in a, presenting it in a very obscure manner. Probably the best event was uh, when uh, during the night time, I walked past the fence and I suddenly heard like the the weird voice, and I looked around and I noticed there's like something behind the fence. There's something moving. There's something standing there, but I don't know what exactly it is. That was probably the best moment. And the the kid, also the kid. Yeah, the kid was something else. Is it the only ending? It looked like it. Maybe there is more, but. Uh, let me see the YouTube video. Is it does it end in a different manner? Um, yeah, it, it ends in the same way. Also, the mask in the end, like the the ghost face or whatever, it was kind of goofy. <laughs> when you when they showed it up close, it just looked like like a, you know those like a traditional like a festival mask, you know, which is maybe it was like kind of the point, like the one. Of, I mean, it's it's a, it's a game set in a rural Japanese area, uh, so it's like a folklore thingy, I guess. But anyway. Uh, yeah, I was, ultimately it's kind of ended up as being a bit of a mixed bag, but it did, it did some stuff well and other things not that well. So, but still, I think it is an interesting, uh, kind of like, mm, study, you know, of, of the game that feels like is made by the person who is just kind of like just almost basically unfamiliar with uh with conventions that are present in the, like in the western maybe game industry like in the western indie walking scene indie horror scene kind of part but also like i was thinking that this game presents itself as a j horror right it's it's literally in the steam page that it is a J horror walking sim. And I was like wondering that how it sort of relates to J horrors in like uh, in sphere of films, right? Because as far as I know, I mean, I'm not really like a huge horror connoisseur, but like I remember watching a video how that was basically like talking about how J horror films they just they're in pretty bad spot right now. They just at certain point they just kind of fell into like a very the most like in kind of like a mediocrity sort of uh, area, and just there are no there are no good J horror movies, you know, these days. Even this death, a new to prioritize being able to flush the toilet. <laughs> the flash, the, the flashing the toilet. Yeah, it was it was. Like definitely highlight in a way, and I'm sure Robert Young would appreciate the toilet in this game. Yeah, so it's kind of it. 
I, I don't know, maybe in a way you can say it's like analogous to like a J-horror movies, since it's just, it's also, some, it does something, something all right, but for the most part, it's just, yeah, it's really average experience, I would say, in the end of the day, that you're going to get from this. Uh, but I don't know if this game was like the first game of this author. On Steam, they have like two games, and this is like the first one. And uh, from this perspective, I would say it's it's pretty pretty solid entry. And I'm kind of interested to check out their second game because it's it's also kind of short. And so yeah, it's this stream took like two hours and a half, uh, so that's that's not really uh, <laughs> it's not really guaranteed. Short, short, kind of like a stream, but I'll probably check out the second game and see maybe, maybe there is some improvements compared to this one. Uh, but yeah, that was it was Sato Gaeri, Sato Gaeri, Sato Gaeri. I don't know how to pronounce it. <clears throat> well. Thank you, thank you, Zombie, for coming. And then thanks to anyone who watched this stream in WOD and got to the end. Um, I I don't know if I'll like try to return to streaming two times in a week, or maybe just one time. I, I guess it will depend on my mood. Maybe I'll stream next Saturday, this is the second game from this uh, person. Or maybe it will be next Tuesday. It depends. But yeah, yeah, I'll I'll try to get back. You know, I'll try to get back. Uh, try to get back to this streaming thingy because I want to do it at the end of the day. And yeah, that was uh, that was it. Overall, a nice game, I would say. And yeah, that's. Uh, I'll see you next time. Stay safe. Stay vigilant as usual and yeah have a good day i'll see you <clears throat>